August 19, 1942. From secret airstrips in England, an umbrella of a thousand Allied planes takes off to cover a hit and run raid on the French coast. It's a raid that goes down in history as one of the most daring strikes in military annals, the commando thrust at Dieppe. 7,000 men, mostly Canadians, take part, hitting at the heart of German coastal defenses. Described later as a reconnaissance in force, the Dieppe operation was the first major battle the Allies had fought on European soil since the collapse of France and the retreat to England from Dunkirk. The Allies took command in the air, but the amphibious commando force faced overwhelming odds, and they knew it. They were out to prove to Hitler that his fortress Europe was not invulnerable, and they showed the indelible courage that was later to mark the invading troops on D-Day 22 months later. set fire to German supplies and outposts, and as they retreated, took German prisoners with them. It was a withdrawal that has become a classic in military history, but as expected, the toll was heavy. Half of the force of 7,000 were casualties, most of them captured by the Germans. Those who returned safely to Britain were the heroes of the hour. The raid was of enormous value to the morale of the West, soldier and civilian alike. German newsreels found at the end of the war gave the Nazi eye view of the raid. For the first time, the Germans realized that their hold on the coastline was not completely secure. The commandos, especially the Canadians, served notice on Hitler that free men ignore the odds when liberty and human dignity are at stake. <laughs> 